Hi everyone! In this video, we are going to learn a new function called ggplot, and we are going to work on box plot only. So first of all, if you have never installed a package called ggplot2, you need to type install.packages ggplot2, and you need to run that line to install that package and then you want to load that package so you can use it. So anytime before you use any functions from that package, you want to run the library function. And then let's use ggplot on the data iris again. So I'm, I believe you are familiar with iris dataset already. So you can just type data iris and if you forget which variables you have, what variables you have in this data set, you can run the names function on the iris data set. So all the variables will be printed out in the console. And my first goal here is to, um, I want to know what does it look like for the sample length using a box plot. So first of all, let us all box plot for sample length using ggplot function. So first of all, we want to type ggplot and our data is from iris. So you can just type iris without the data equal sign. So I want to be more specific. So I type data equals iris. And then you want to type the aesthetic settings to the, to the graph. So first of all, if you run this function, you are going to prepare your, your painting paper. And if you, if you assign what's your X variable, what's your Y variable, you can actually um, start drawing on that paper. So I let Y equals sample length and I will not specify X this time. And then I use a plus sign and then GOM box plot because I want to draw a box plot. So I'm going to run that function and you can see here we are getting a box plot um, showing the sample length has a median around 5.8 and the spread is about the same uh, up the median and below. So that's what we have for one box plot of the sample length. But because we also have the variable species, right? You may wonder like how the distribution, how does, how, how does the distributions different from each other um, for different species? So let's list our second goal. Um, and we are actually creating side by side box plots, which means you're creating, you want to create one box plot for each species. So, so that's a um, box plot for simple lengths of different species. So I'm going to copy everything we have here and I'm going to specify my X variable before I type Y. So I'm going to let X equals species. Make sure you use capital S. So I often copy, copy the variable names so that I can not get rid of making a typo. So in this way, you can see the data is still iris. The X variable is specified as species and the Y variable is sample length. And if I run this function, I'm looking at a side by side box plot for each species. And you can see the three boxes are very different in terms of height, in terms of the spreadness from first quartile to the third quartile. And you can see um, some of them have outliers, some of them have doesn't have. So this box plot is very inform informative because you can actually compare them on their sample lengths. So 
that's the plot. And my third goal here is to think about how to make it look better. I know the box plot here is looking good already, but um, maybe you can try to add some more items to make it look better. So one thing I can do is to add the X lab so that you are more specific, right? So I know the spe we have the species as the X lab, we have sepal length as the Y lab, but you can change it as, as what you want it to be. So for example, I can specify the X lab as species of iris. And then I can specify the Y lab as um, sepal length of iris. So just to let you know, you can uh, manually change what you want to show in that graph on the X lab and Y lab. Also, there is one more thing you can do is to change the theme. So once you type them, you can see we have BW, black and white. Um, we have classic, dark, different themes available there. So for example, if we are using B and W, now if you run this code chunk, you're going to see the box plus being different from what we had in the beginning you can see the box the box plus are darker and the background are light, lighter so which makes the box plus more highlighted the goal i have is that i want to layer the dot plus to the box plus in that way you can exactly see what you have for each species, what observed values you have in the data. So first of all, I want to copy everything I have here for the third goal. And I'm going to define that plot, the plot on the right side as um, G1. So which means graph one. And then I'm going to use G1 at GEOM point. So we are talking about the dot plus and that in ggplot is called GEOM underline point. And we are going to add color equals gray. So in that way, we don't need to specify X and Y in the GOM point because we have specified in our G1 graph here. So when you add another graph, it will adopt the same X and the same Y. So now let's run those code chunks and see what we are getting. So from this graph, you can see that we have box plus for all three species. We have the observed values dotted along the lines of the box plus. So that's all I have so far for the ggplot function and in terms of drawing box plus. See you next time.